Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from CraftTestDummies.com and today I want to share with you the Wink of Stella Pens by Kurataki Zig. So these basically are shimmery paint markers. They have a brush tip and um, once you get the paint flowing, you see it kind of goes down into this cartridge. It applies almost, almost like a, I don't know, like a twinkling H2O. Um, there's definitely pigment, and as it absorbs into the paper, can you see that shine? That's not because it's wet, that's because it leaves behind kind of a sparkly, glimmery residue. So you can see it on the purple, but you can see it even better with the black. So see how it goes down, it looks pretty dark, but as soon as it sinks in, you see how you get that gold shimmer? So um, yeah, they're really shimmery, which is kind of fun. And like I said, they do have a brush tip, so you have a pointy end. Um, I can't really get dots out of it because it's more like a, actually these remind me exactly of the water brushes I have. Um, but instead it dispenses pretty color. So you can kind of experiment with a broader uh, mark and then, you know, little, little thinner marks. Um, so I tried them out, uh, first of all, on some different surfaces. Let me show you that first. Here's my swatch. And so what you'll see is that I used it on white, blue, black, and pattern paper. And even though it's black paper, notice, interestingly, it has like an interference color to it. So the purple has kind of a gold, um, the green is kind of a yellow shimmer, and the black almost shows up like a copper or a red. Um, once you put it on pattern paper, you can see through it a little bit, There is, uh, but there's still a lot of opacity there. It, it really will show up on a pattern paper. This is some sticky back canvas, um, and it didn't bleed too much, just a little bit, and this was vellum. And what I found interesting about the vellum is that it didn't really wrinkle or warp the paper. A lot of times if you use a water-based media, which is what this is, on paper it will make it curl. But notice there is no curling and wrinkling on that vellum. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So here it is again on a little piece of uh, paper. This is actually a stamped image with stays on and I went over the top. Where I went over the black, it left that black shimmer. So it's mostly about that kind of leftover shimmery residue and, and you see that there on the paper pretty well. Um, I also tried it on a coated surface. So, um, well here, I should show you my, the fail first, why I failed. So I was working in this journal page and I was drawing with the Kurataki Zigs and then I uh, did some shimmer sprays over the top and it, it just bled everywhere. It's horrible, right? Um, but I realized that's because when I gessoed this page first, I coated the surface so that the ink could not absorb. If you put it on something, though, where the ink can absorb through, i.e. uncoated paper, you actually get a nice image. So this is untreated, and this is a gesso side, and you can see where um, I was able to smear it, and then I added some water, and I basically almost washed it all off. So, note to self, don't use a coated surface or gesso. Okay. I also tried on a little piece of fabric, just because I could. I figured if it would soak in. Um, and again, a little bit of bleeding, but... If you want to just add a, like, um, a little bit of color to maybe one of your Prima flowers, that would be a great way to do it. And then I was just playing around here too where I um, was mixing it with some um, different spray inks to see if I could get it to bleed out a little bit, and I did. Um, but what mostly you notice is that shimmery residue. So the project I made were these little cute tags. Um, and I stamped, so I actually uh, inked up the stamps with the brush tips. And you see that it's so juicy that really I didn't get a crisp, crisp image, but you know, kind of good enough for this kind of overall effect. And then I used some archival inks over the top. And I really like actually how you can kind of see that the green almost repelled the archival inks. Um, so it still stays shimmery, even with the uh, archival ink over top, which I used to kind of age it down. So um, that's your little mini review on the Kurataki Zig Wink of Stella pens. I only bought three. I bought these with my own funds just to try out. Oh, by the way, I do like the fact that they have the little things on the tip so you can see what colors you've actually got. Um, 
These were kind of expensive. They were like in the $7.99 uh, realm, and I wish I had some more colors, but they're kind of pricey, so I might see if I can find them uh, on a sale. Um, but they're fun, and I, I do like, I like the little bit of shimmer that you get. That's kind of a nice accent and a pop. And the way it works on a dark paper is really, really kind of fun, right? All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And we would love it if you subscribed to our channel and visited us at crafttestdummies.com. Thanks and have a crafty day.